Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Palantir Technology stock news, then we will discuss Amazon stock news because they have an upcoming earnings call, then we will discuss Microsoft stock news because they also have a fast approaching earnings call coming up. Earning reports can be a large catalyst that take the stock prices higher, or at least it could cause the stocks to rally upwards until the financial results are actually announced. Go and press the like button right now if you own a PLTR stock, AMZN stock, or MSFT stock, comment down below your favorite stocks out of these three, turn on all of subscription notifications to stay informed, and now let's get right into today's stories. We will begin by talking about the best way to buy Palantir that lowers your chance of losing money on this play. As you know, Palantir is a data mining and analytics company that went public at $10 per share before it surged all the way up to $45 per share thanks to the hype from Reddit. By the middle of May, the PLTR stock price had fallen back down to around $17 which was a great buying opportunity because now the stock trades at close to $25. However, despite this volatility, the PLTR stock has an average trading volume of the last 10 days of 41 million, which is absolutely spectacular. Wall Street analysts seem to be divided on the potential that this company holds, but their government networking is absolutely amazing. To quote from the University of Pennsylvania, the company has close links to military intelligence and law enforcement agencies in the United States and Europe. End quote. So while analysts continue to debate on Palantir's potential, let us discuss how investors can be making money safely off of PLTR. Now we will go over what many analysts think of PLTR by looking at their one-year price targets. For instance, out of six analysts, the average price target is $25, while the low-end price prediction is $18 and the high-end price prediction is $31. However, if an investor plans on buying and holding the stock long-term, an average price below $20 is considered a very good deal. But if you have met your risk management threshold like I have and you cannot in good conscience continue to buy PLTR without adding unnecessary risk to your portfolio by overexposing yourself to a single stock, look into the following ETFs to gain more exposure to Palantir while also having your risk spread out between many other companies to prevent overexposure. And those ETFs are as follows. First, we have the ARK Innovation ETF, ticker symbol ARKK. Then we have the Defiance Next Gen Big Data ETF, ticker symbol BIGY. Next, we have the Renaissance IPO ETF, ticker symbol IPO. And lastly, we have the SoFi Social 50 ETF, ticker symbol SFYF. To quote from the article, Palantir is well positioned to benefit from the tremendous global big data market opportunity, which could be well more than $200 billion over the next five years. Management predicts annualized revenue growth of at least 30% through 2025. If that trend plays out, PLTR stock looks like an attractive long-term investment despite its current lofty valuation, end quote. Now let's talk about Amazon stock, ticker symbol AMZN. If you didn't already know, the Amazon founder and CEO named named Jeff Bezos, stepped down from his position at the start of quarter three. From then on, Andy Jazzy has assumed the position of CEO who led Amazon's cloud business. So investors are going to see how this change of leadership has impacted the company's financials since Jeff Bezos has stepped down. There are a lot of investors hinging on this report because this could tell us where the new trajectory of this business is heading. On Amazon's second quarter earnings report, their management has predicted what Q3 revenues could come in as, and the range that they gave was between $106 billion and $112 billion, which would equate to a growth rate between 10 and 16%. However, analysts seem to think that management estimates are actually too low and that Amazon is set to amaze in this upcoming earnings call. I would even say that despite Amazon's massive valuation of over $1.7 trillion, that the AMZN stock has plenty of more growth that could be had, and it could be a fantastic long-term investment. Amazon does not even have a large price-to-earnings ratio, which is only around 60, which is great compared to their competitors. With great revenue growth, operating margin, and stock price appreciation, this stock is set to continue to amaze investors. Analysts even think that Amazon will grow grow their earnings on average by 37% over the next five years, which is absolutely insane. Amazon currently trades at $3,435, and the low, average, and high-end price predictions are $3,375 as the low, $4,150 as the average, and $5,000 as the high. 
So keep an eye out for their quarter three earnings report on Thursday, October 28th after the market closes. And if you want me to report on it, feel free to like the video and comment down below. I also want to add that Amazon is launching a new shipping option for customers who don't want to wait for their package to arrive by mail. If you want the package quickly, if a small business near you sells a product on Amazon, you can simply pick up that product and package right at their store, and this will be no extra cost to the customer. Now, to me, this is very similar to just ordering a product online and going to pick it up at the store. Both Walmart and Target have already used this method because of their brick and mortar stores being in prime delivery and pickup locations. However, Amazon does not have that same luxury, which is why they're doing this and implementing this special plan. Now, I think this is smart for Amazon to do because Walmart has already tried to one-up Amazon Prime by having same-day delivery instead of two-day shipping. However, we will see how much of a difference Amazon's new shipping option will gain them or cost them. But it seems that the cost will actually be passed on to the small businesses rather than Amazon or the customer because sellers will be using their own delivery vehicles and infrastructure to meet delivery deadlines or to hold the item. Overall, I think this is a very strategic move by Amazon that once again outplays giant retailers like Target and Walmart, so we're going to have to see how the shipping war progresses between these massive companies. Now let's talk about Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. Microsoft is an extremely large company that has a market cap of around $2.3 trillion, and the great news is that it's set to continue to climb because of its crazy impressive free cash flows, which should boost the stock price. The stock currently trades at around $300, but according to their free cash flows, the stock should be trading at a worth around $340. Microsoft's free cash flows are more impressive than other companies' entire revenue sources because their cash flows were around $56 billion and their revenues came in at $168 billion, which are just astronomical numbers. Analysts that were surveyed by Seeking Alpha says that for 2022 revenue projections that it could be higher than $190 billion and even better, 2023, the revenues could come in over $216 billion. And if we apply Microsoft's insane free cash flow margin, which is 33.4%, which is already impressive in its own right, their free cash flows could reach $64 billion by 2022 and $72 billion in 2023 which will cause the MSFT stock price to continuously climb. Analysts also project that the MSFT stock price could rise between 13 and 27% to a stock price target of around $384 per share, which would put the market capitalization of Microsoft around $2.9 trillion, just barely scratching almost $3 trillion. According to tip ranks, around 20 analysts have an average price target for the MSFT T stock of around $339 per share, and this will represent a potential 12% upside for the stock. On the other hand, Seeking Alpha has surveyed 37 analysts, and they have an average price target of $335 per share, which is lower than my personal price predictions. However, either way, you're going to outpace the market. According to Yahoo Finance, many analysts are turning very bullish on Microsoft stock before their earnings come out on Tuesday, October 26th which to me could cause the stock to rally due to their amazing free cash flows. Also, next year, I think that the stock could go all the way up to $385 per share. So even if the stock does not react positively after earnings, if you hold on for at least a year, you're probably going to end up on top. Now, I also like to reward subscribers and people who watch my videos all the way to the end because I provide bonus content, and in this bonus information segment, we have Dexcom. So, Dexcom develops continuous glucose monitoring systems to help patients manage diabetes, which according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, says that one in three Americans could have this illness by 2050. Dexcom already has an impressive 24% profit margin, and their revenues grew by 28% year over year to $1.1 billion. However, analysts project that revenues could reach up to $2.35 billion in the next few years. So keep this stock at least on a watch list. And the ticker symbol for Dexcom is DXCM. But what do you think? Comment your thoughts down below. Remember to like this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Remember to turn on all subscription notifications to stay informed, and I will see you in the next YT video.